She is the president and founder of the Gloucester Institute, which is an organization that trains and nurtures and mentors leaders in the African American community. George W. Bush appointed her as the director for the United States Office of Personnel Management, and she served in that position from 2001 until 2005. Prior to that appointment, she served as Virginia Virginia Secretary of Health and Human Resources under then-Governor George Allen and as Senior Vice President of the Family Research Council. She was also the Dean of Regent University's Government School. She is a current member of the NASA Advisory Council. She is a graduate of Hampton University and is the recipient of numerous honorary degrees, including the Doctor of Laws degree from Pepperdine University. In 2003, she was named the Distinguished Christian Statesman by Dr. D. James Kennedy, in which she was described as a Christian stateswoman who makes it clear that the only way to transform any culture is from the inside out, and that the children of God will be called upon to lead the way. She is a wife, mother of three children, and grandmother of five. She committed her life to following Jesus Christ while watching Billy Graham on television before entering college. She said that it was while sitting with other students at an InterVarsity Fall Conference in Virginia that she heard the conference speaker describe the sacrificial death of Christ on the cross and realized that God had a calling for her life. She said it was then that she told God, God, I am available to be used by you. Here I am. She said, I did not have a plan beyond what is the next opportunity to serve. I will tell others, if you're willing to do that and really mean it, hold on because you don't have a clue as to where your life is going. Her name is Kay Coles James. This is the Chief of Sinners, Daniel White III, President of Gospel Light Society International. And just as Kay Coles James gave her life to Christ, may I lovingly encourage you on this Mother's Day to do the same. Here is how. Here is God's love letter to us. John 3.16 reads, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. I want you to notice this with me phrase by phrase. For God so loved the world means that if you are in this world, just like Sister James, God loves you. No matter what you have done, it doesn't matter who you are, where you have been, God loves you. I want you to notice the second phrase, that he gave his only begotten son. His name is Jesus Christ. He suffered, bled, and died on the cross for your sins and for mine. And he was buried and rose again. 
He died for you. He died for me. He died for Sister James and everyone. That leads me to our third phrase that says, that whosoever believeth in him. The word whosoever means anybody at any time. Believeth in him means to trust in him, to depend upon him, to rely on him, or to have faith in him for your salvation. God will save you if you believe in him. Our next phrase is should not perish. You ask where? In hell, the Bible tells us. Our next phrase is but have everlasting life. Where? In heaven with God. What a great deal that is. Just believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. We can be saved from hell and go to the wonderful place called heaven with God. You cannot beat that deal, my friend. Sister James took that deal and God has blessed her life. The Bible also says in Romans 10, 9 and 13, here's how you can take that deal and have a blessed life as well. Jesus Christ will change your life. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou, you, shalt be saved. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. You see, salvation is very simple. The devil and some people try to make it hard. My friends, you can be saved today just like K. Cole James. Dear friend, if you're willing to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ for your salvation, like K. Cole James did, please pray with me this simple prayer. Heavenly Father, I realize that I am a sinner and that I have done some bad things in my life. For Jesus Christ's sake, please forgive me of all of my sins. I now believe with all of my heart that Jesus Christ died for me, was buried, and rose again. Lord Jesus, please come into my heart and save my soul and change my life today. Amen. Dear friend, if you prayed that prayer today with me, Allow me to be the first to say congratulations on doing the most important thing in life. And that is trusting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. K. Cole James did it years ago. I did it over 30 years ago. And today is your day on this beautiful Mother's Day. You are now saved and on your way to heaven. May I lovingly encourage you to keep on living for God. Until next time, remember, dear friend, believe by faith, share the faith, and keep the faith. God bless you.